By virtue of my authority as Chancellor, I admit John Bishop to the degree of Doctor of Arts, honoris causa. Thank you, thank you, Chancellor, uh, esteemed members of the faculty, and thank you for you to allow me to, uh, to come and be part of your day. I sat in that seat and I watched some of you walk on the stage, and you could see the nervousness, the apprehension, the joy, and the pride that was in your faces. And some of you got a whoop from the people in the, uh, in the balcony. And please, for the second half, whoop away, because these people who are walking across this stage are not only the future, they are shaping the future. To take a life where you choose to be in education is the best of us, because you are the people who will shape the future. And when we live in a world where no one knows what's real, when everything that's important de depends on a hashtag or a like on a post or a fake news feed, what we need is those who are there and prepared to tell the next generation what is ahead of them and what they can be. He's right, Michael, I was 30 years ago this summer receiving the same, the same welcome onto a stage. I rented a, a robe, I rented a hat, and I walked across for 25 seconds and picked up a piece of paper that I'd worked three years for. But it wasn't three years. It was a lifetime up to then. I was the first one in my family to go to university. And I went, like many of you, because I didn't know what I wanted beyond it, but I knew it was a pathway to something better than where I was starting from. And it did lead to many things. It led to the girl I met in the library that I married. It led me to have three sons who were all Manx. <laughs> you can't get everything right, but that was the closest hospital. <laughs> and it led to a life that I could not have imagined. But it's not an easy thing when you, when you go on to your next level, into your next adventures. And I haven't got words of magic that nobody else will share with you, but what I will say is take a moment to be proud of yourself. Take a moment to share the pride of those who have supported you all the way through. And I just wish that the world we were giving you 30 years later was better. I just wish it was less divided and I just wish we understood more that was going to happen. But one thing I will tell you that in 30 years time, you will make a contribution to make that world better. You can't change everything, but you can change your world. And the path that you've chose through education is the best way of doing it. So I thank you on behalf of the future generation, because like all of us, I remember those teachers that shaped me. I remember those teachers that have faith in me when probably I didn't have it in myself. And I owe them this award. I love awards where you don't actually have to do anything for them. <laughs> but I accepted it because it means something to me. It means that I've reached a stage in my life where maybe, maybe I can start contributing a little bit more. And maybe, maybe all those times of doubt that I had, that you will have, all those times that I wasn't sure what I was going to do, that you will have. All those times where I made the decision I wasn't sure it was the right one, like you will have. Maybe, maybe sometimes we need to stop and on days like this say, yeah, I'm not the best husband I could be, I'm not the best father, I'm not the best man, I'm not the best comedian, but I give it a go. And you know what? That's all any of us can do. So give it a go. Go out there grab the world and be the best version of you and that's all any of us could ever be. Thank you.